Hi there, I'm Sally Simpson and I'm really delighted to be joining you for the Folk Film Gathering 2020. Um, I'm going to start off with a 6-8 march called Ben Gullion, written by R. Fleming. And then I'm playing a tune that I found in the Apple collection recently. Um, not a recent collection by any means though, called Glen Lyon. Thank you. 
thank you very much. Um, usually doing a gig, if you make a mistake, you uh, just move on and no one ever hears it again. So this is a bit nerve wracking really. Um, yeah, so that was a six, eight March and then um, a reel. So just take a slurp of tea. The bonus of a home gig is um, cups of tea on stage. <laughs> so um, I've been really enjoying thinking about this year's um, theme for the, for the festival. And whilst music is definitely an incredible tool, especially folk music for bringing people together, I think from the side of the musician, it can sometimes feel like a, like a very individualistic and almost selfish thing to be doing um, with your life, partly I guess when you make your hobby your work. Um, there's almost a, a guilt for, uh, for enjoying what you do so much. Um, and for some, I guess for some musicians, um, they do what they do because they want to entertain. And for, um, for many musicians, the, the entertainment factor or the, um, the bringing people together factor really um, is sort of a happy, happy byproduct of this, um, this desire or feeling of a need to create and to express yourself. Um, and like, you could argue what difference does the motive make if it um, if it brings people together and I, I definitely don't have any sort of answers or, or solid um, solid theories on this but um, it's just been a really really interesting point to um, to mull over and I don't know where I personally sit on that sort of spectrum of entertainment and bringing people together which you could argue are different things anyway and self-expression some musicians really wouldn't care if people enjoy their music or not, and sometimes I think that makes it even more even more appealing. Um, and I think my motives change constantly, whether it's playing for for my own enjoyment or as a social tool or um, yeah to pay the bills. <laughs> um, it's always changing, but I I do think that the the space that music allows us to share with other people, um, and the way that for me anyway it's enabled me to, to tour the world and, and meet lots of lovely people and um, very close to and very far from home is just a, a really really special thing and um, yeah so that's that's my contribution on the theme and um, sort of on that note I'm gonna play a tune by Phil Cunningham this is called The Gentle Light That Wakes Me and in the periods when I lose track of the enjoyment in music and um, because of it being work all the time I guess um, this is a tune that always, always brings me back. Um, so yeah, The Gentle Light That Wakes Me by Phil Cunningham. Um, hadn't thought about the fact that these mistakes are recorded and you can watch them again and again. Better not start thinking about it now. <laughs>
Thanks very much. I think music and stories and so many of our forms of entertainment, even down to sport, are all about tension and release. And you have that, hopefully, within a piece of music itself. But um, through this practice of doing sort of online work like this, I'm realising there's also a, a sort of unspoken tension between um, between an audience and um, and the musician all the way through the piece, which is usually broken by the the applause at the end. So it's a uh, it's uh, interesting the things you notice when forced into a new format like this. I'm going to play one more set for you, and this starts with a tune called Christchurch Cathedral, which I learnt from the playing of Fiddler's Bid. Um, and then I'm going into a jig that I learnt from the Marshall Collection, and finishing off with a Liz Carroll tune called The Champagne Jig Goes to Columbia. So thank you very much for having me, um, or for, for joining me in my living room on a rainy Glasgow evening as it is now um, yeah, um, and I hope to see you all and uh, meet you in a communal spirit at some point um, yeah, thanks Thank you. 